Alrighty, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys first what Jellyfin is and what you can do with it on your Raspberry Pi 4. And then at the end of the video, I'll be going over installation guide so you can set it up yourself on your Raspberry Pi 4. So Jellyfin basically is a media server that you can install on your Raspberry Pi 4. And you can leave your Raspberry Pi 4 on all the time and you can upload your movies on there, your videos. You'll be able to access that those videos from any device, your phone, your Android device, your iOS device, your computer, your PC, your Mac, anything. And just by typing in the IP address in your web browser, and you'll be able to watch those videos anywhere around your house. And it's pretty cool that you can do that with your Raspberry Pi. So this is my website, my IP address right here of my Raspberry Pi, and then the port 8096. So let's test out a video first and see what it actually looks like. So I've uploaded Big Bug Bunny at 60 FPS, and you can upload anything else you like, but this is no copyright, that's why I did it. So if I go right here to the play button, and I do want to mention that this does um, and have video acceleration so it actually performs incredibly well you can even run up to 4k videos on this raspberry pi if you do up your gpu memory which i show how to do at the end of the video but let's just start playing like it's so smooth let's skip a little bit you see that there's like no waiting at all it's immediate and it skips to the part that i want i go right here and look at that it's so darn awesome playback data right here let's make it full screen or let's not, but you can see what how it's playing, the frames, everything, and this thing is just so darn smooth. It is awesome. And the same thing that this is all running on your Raspberry Pi 4, and if you have one of these laying around and you don't really use it for anything, well, this is a pretty cool use that you could put used to. You could make it a media server, and you could use it on any device around your house or anything like that. So it's actually a really useful project, and it's fun to do. So this is Jellyfin on my Raspberry Pi 4, and it works incredibly well. I can go out in my video, and if I did have other videos, they would all show up right here, around here. And then there's actually tons of settings that we can go through on our dashboard. And, like, users, you can actually make different users so that different people have different media in your family, if that's how you want to use it. You can actually have live TV. There is this program is actually super developed and there's tons of stuff if you have an android casting device you can actually cast the video onto your tv so this thing just has endless possibilities and it's super fun to use and yeah so i can watch all my videos i can do everything i want on this so right after this there'll be an installation guide of how to set this up on your raspberry pi 4 so i hope this was helpful for you to the installation part of installing Jellyfin on our Raspberry Pi 4. So to get started, we're actually going to need Raspberry Pi OS on either a USB stick, SSD drive, or SD card. So you need the Raspberry Pi Imager, which you can grab from the link in the description if you don't already have it. And like I mentioned in my last video, you can actually configure these advanced options if you like. You can go through them and you can open them by con Command, Shift, X if you're on a Mac or Windows or Linux PC, it would be Control shift x Click Save after you change those settings, and go Flash, and choose Raspberry Pi OS 32-bit. It's going to be at the top right here. Click that one. Choose Storage. I'm actually using this USB stick. Click Write, and yes. Type in your password, and we are ready to go. So let the sync flash your USB stick, and then boot it up, and we'll have a few more steps to apply. After you have flashed and opened up your Raspberry Pi with your new Raspberry Pi OS, we're actually just going to open up our web browser. And there's actually just a few commands that we need to find, but all these commands are located on the Jellyfin website. So if we just type in Jellyfin right here into our web browser, it's using DuckDuckGo right now, but you could change that to Google from the settings if you like to. So the free media software system. So we're going to go over to download now. And we're going to go right here to Debian Ubuntu. And we're just going to go with Stable. You could try Unstable if you liked, but Stable is good enough for me. So we're going to click Stable. And basically, these are only the commands that we're going to need. So we just copy all these. Just copy. Open up your terminal right here. You can go Control-Alt-T or you can click on it. Just click Paste. And hit Enter. 
and it's going to get all the dependencies. It's going to basically do everything we need to do. So what it's going to be doing, it's going to be installing this Jellyfin repo in our system so that whenever Jellyfin gets an update and we update our system, Jellyfin will automatically be updated. So I copied all that, but it only installed the first bit. That's fine. We can just copy the last four lines. I didn't get all of that correctly. So just from the get copy and paste it back in the terminal. So right now it's getting the repo. Now it's updating because you have to do the update for it to get the new Jellyfin. Right here you see Jellyfin. It has to get those in its system for it to work correctly. So now it's done updating and now we can install Jellyfin. So sudo apt install Jellyfin. This process will take a bit longer because Jellyfin is a bit more of a beefier app. Do I want to continue? You can either hit Y or you can just hit Enter and it will start installing it and doing everything you need for you. Now that that is done installing, as you see right here, we're actually going to have to user mod Jellyfin. So you're just going to type sudo user mod. These all these will be in the description, so you can just copy and paste if it's easier for you. Video Jellyfin. That's what you're going to type. You're going to hit Enter and it's not going to show anything, but if it doesn't, that means it worked correctly. Now we're going to have to make it restart Jellyfin. So sudo systemctl restart Jellyfin. Do this, hit enter, and it's going to restart Jellyfin on our system. Give it a second because it is restarting Jellyfin. Now the next step is optional, but if you do want to be running 4K videos like I showed at the beginning of the video, you're going to want to add some more GPU memory to your Raspberry Pi so that it will work better. And because you are going to be running this as a server, you won't have display, so you can actually make that GPU memory higher. So we're just going to type sudo nano-boot-config dash boot dash boot dot txt and from here we're going to edit that we're actually just going to scroll all the way to the bottom right here and i'm just going to type gpu underscore mem equals i'm going to go 512 but that's because i have this 8 gigabyte pi if you don't you might want to go like 312 but i'll leave a link to different ones that you can apply you can try them out if it doesn't work well you can always switch it around but this actually worked well for me so i'm going to stick to it and to save you're going to hit Control x y enter and after this we're actually going to have to do a quick reboot so that the new settings do happen so just sudo reboot and yeah alrighty so now we are done we've rebooted and to find our ip address to go to the server website what we're going to type is ip addr this will be in the description and right here this is mine actually um it is right here 192.168.0.15 you don't need that last 24 bit because we're just going to copy this and we're actually going to open up our web browser. This can be on a different device, of course, but I'm just showing it real quick on this Raspberry Pi. So here we are in our web browser and we're actually just going to copy and paste the IP address right here. And then we're going to do our port is actually going to be 8096. That's the port of Jellyfish. You're going to hit enter and it's Jellyfin right here. I don't know why I just said jellyfish, but that's what I meant. And here we are at the setup script. So I want English United States. I'm going to click next. And username. I'm actually just going to stick with a default. If you want it to be more secure, of course, you can add a password. But because I'm just going to be using this around my house, I don't feel a huge need to actually add a password. So I'm going to go next. And I can add a media library, which that means is you're going to add video folders to your system right here. And you're going to click the content, your display name, and if you click this add button, you're going to be able to see your system folders. Like if I search downloads, you can actually find your different folders in your system right here, and you'll be able to add all the media files that you need that easily. So that's how you can add media folders. So it's not that hard. Click OK. Uh, got it. I don't want to add a media library right now because I don't have anything yet. We're going to click next. I want English United States and enable automatic port mapping. I don't need that. And I'm done. So finish. But one more thing to get the hardware acceleration working correctly, we have to do a little bit of configuring. So user is Jellyfin if you didn't change it and I don't have any password. I'm going to click sign in. 
and right here actually we're going to click this button right here and we're going to go over to dashboard and in dashboard we're going to go to playback and hardware acceleration we're going to click on this and for it to work correctly on our raspberry pi we're actually going to use open max omx and we are going to want to enable these two ticks and transcoding thread count it auto is fine but i'm going to go max because that's what i want for my raspberry pi and after that all these settings are pretty good you can scroll to the bottom click save and i got that and that's about it. Now you have Jellyfin set up on your Raspberry Pi. It's not that hard. And you can have a media server. If you do want to use this outside of your house, you might want to set up a static IP address for your server, which you could do. There are videos about that. But thanks for watching this tutorial. If you found it helpful, please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think about it. And thanks for watching.